In this question, we're given a carrier signal and a message signal. We're told that it's frequency modulated, and we're told that the frequency varies to within 5% of the unmodulated value. And the question is, find the modulation index. So we're trying to find beta. So to find beta, what we need is two things. We need to find the um, frequency deviation, or the maximum fre frequency deviation, and we need to find the message bandwidth. So we want to find the ratio of those two things. So looking in the question, we're given three bits of information. We're given the carrier signal, so that frequency is omega c, 200 pi, times 10 to the power 6. We're also given the um, message frequency, so that's omega m, is 600 pi times 10 to the power 3. So from that, we can find the carrier frequency, omega c over 2 pi, which is 100 times 10 to the power 6. And we can find fm, omega m over 2 pi, which is 300 times 10 to the power 3. Now, what we don't yet have is delta f. But we're told in the question that delta f is 5% of the unmodulated value. The unmodulated value is simply delta f, sorry, fc. So the unmodulated value is fc. So we know that delta f is 5% of fc. So we can say delta f equals 5% of fc. So that's 5% of that value, and that's 5 times 10 to the power 6. So now calculating beta is simply a case of finding that ratio. So we divide 300 times 10 to the power 3. So we divide um, 5 times 10 to the power 6 divided by 300 times 10 to the power 3. And if you put that in your calculator, you get 16.7. So that's the value for beta. And we found that by calculating the ratio of the frequency deviation to the baseband um, bandwidth. So that's your final answer.